Did you know there's a sea slug that looks exactly like a green leaf floating in the water? It, it's shaped its whole body to look like a leaf. Now, now, first of all, why is it green? And second, why does it look like a leaf? Well, it turns out that these kind of sea slugs, when they're young, they find algae, which takes sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide and transform it into food and they're green because part of that food is chlorophyll, which is green. The young ones, they basically break into these algae and they suck the little food manufacturing plants called chloroplasts out of the algae. And they store them in their bodies. As they grow, they digest part of the algae, but they don't disassemble. They don't digest the chloroplasts, the food manufacturing plants. They literally steal them from the algae and they store them in a special part of their body. Then as this young sea slug grows, it shapes its body to look exactly like a green leaf. And for the rest of its life, it stays in the sunshine and it uses the stolen sugar manufacturing plants, the chloroplast that it stole from the algae to produce food for itself. Now think about this process. Think about the number of chemical changes, the number of programming changes it would take in a slug that didn't have the ability to steal and use the food manufacturing plant of an algae in order to suck it into its body, link up to it, transform it, and then start to use some other organism's manufacturing plant to provide food for itself. It's, it's astounding. Any software engineer knows programming changes don't happen by random chance. Evolution has nothing but mutations to work with, and mutations destroy information. They don't add information. They don't improve a program. They don't cause two organisms to start working together by random chance. You see, the wonders of the biological world point to the wonders of our Creator, not to chance random evolutionary processes.